Hello, this is Jerome and this is Michelle. We have been talking about sibling rivalry and Michelle is going to summarize some of the symptoms of sibling rivalry and pray for you and also prophetically just move whatever God will speak into this situation now. So, Michelle. I think one of the areas of sibling rivalry is the secret shames. You know, when we think we're not enough, it's because we know that there's something inside that we don't want anybody else to know or we're, we're trying to cover up or we're trying to pretend. And when you think of the, the start of, of um, shame, fear and control, that really sibling rivalry is something we, it comes into that aspect and it has a shame and a fear and a control. So if you've been in a place where you have something that you feel caused you to be lack, something that makes you different from someone else, not in a positive way, but something that you're aware yourself that you think it doesn't make you enough. If there's an aspect that actually you feel that when someone says something or does something or maybe wears something, you think, well, I could wear it better. Or maybe you think, well, they wear it better than I do and I don't like that. Maybe it's an area that God has given you some dreams or visions or words saying you're going to do certain things and you see somebody else doing them and you think, well, that's mine. They shouldn't be doing that. That's my job to be doing it. All these are symptoms and seeds of sibling rivalry. So if you've had that, let's, let's just pray now. So Father, we recognize, God, we're made in your image. We're made in your uniqueness. And Lord, we're more than enough because you've given us everything to make us more than enough. Father, we give you glory that when you made us, you said there's nobody else like this, that you cracked the mold, not because you made a mistake, because you could not perfect it. And Father, we recognize that the perfection that you have made us in often gets shielded by the things that are around us, our experiences or how we perceive ourselves. So Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I just speak forth that hidden veil, that, that invisible veil that seems to wrap around, that shrouds us from recognizing our incredible greatness, our incredible uniqueness. Father, I just break that veil. Lord, when you, you died on the cross, you tore the veil in two. Father, I just speak for the tearing of the veil that divides us as people being able to celebrate each other, being celebrate our greatness and our wonderfulness of how you made us. You made us fearfully and wonderful. And Father, I speak into the situations that you that we sometimes get into a place where we perceive that there isn't enough room for more people to be doing a particular gifting or a particular task or a particular area. Father, you are a God who stretches one area of the, the world to another. You're a God that space we have not even come to the end of. And Lord, if you have made creation in such a way, and you've made us in your image, that you weigh the, the oceans in the hollow of your hand, then God, you have made enough space for us to function in. Yes, Father, I speak that truth into each one of us, of understanding that God, you're a God who makes space, that you called us, anointed us, appointed us for such a time. And Lord, I speak into each individual that when they know they're called, they think they're not enough. Father, I speak, Lord, just because that there is a sense you don't see that you're enough, that God is a God that brings the enough when it is required. And Father, I speak, Lord, the continuous uh, supply that comes from your hand. And Father, as we do all these things, Father, I just speak into that, that um, root, that weed of sibling rivalry that comes and chokes yes, yes. the uniqueness, that comes and chokes and clouds the eyes, that comes and imbalance us in a place that we can't see people for their greatness because it means we are diminished. Father, I speak to it and I uproot that in Jesus' name. I call forth, Lord, your word says that you send your angels into our harvest field, that you cause them to uproot the tares that the enemy has tried to sow in the night. Father, I call forth, Lord, that you send your angels into each one of us and you cause them to uproot those tares, those tares that have caused us to be people who have entertained sibling rivalry. And Father, I speak forth, Lord, you made us unique, complete, to be established, to display your glory. I decree this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Michelle. That was uh, a good declaration in the Lord. And we look forward for a great move of God in each of our lives and in the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.